Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk briefly about this magic feather partridge and how I think you should tie it and uh, if you want to dive more into it just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, this is something I've learned from videos uh, from that uh, Mr. Vane Lou Allen made and uh, it's quite amazing technique that uh, makes life easier when it comes to tying partridge partridge feather. So I'm going to start with partridge feather. You choose which one you want, which size and so on, and uh, strip off the lower part of the feather, uh, considering the length you want to use. And the reason why I'm going to strip off the lower part is because the rachis over here is much thicker. So if you start winding it over here it's going to be huge and it's very likely that the rake is, is going to break uh, especially if you have older partridge now obviously you're going to tie it in by the tip so the important part is how many of these barbs you want to leave here and how you're going to prepare them so you can choose to leave less or more uh, people say less is more so let's do it like that uh, I decided to do a very short video, so I'll just do body and then wrap the hackle. I'm using orange thread in 10 aught, but maybe I should use something thicker for this one. Okay, need to cut it. Okay, can't just pin the bobbin to lay flat the thread. I waxed it, that's why it's dark. And then at some point it's going to transition into the orange. Like proper orange. I'll just make a taper over here. And now, when I reach the bend, I'll just uh, split the thread and insert some uh, mole. I think that mole suits this kind of fly very beautifully because it's gentle and very nice. But the amount I'm going to insert is like ridiculously small. So it's going just to be for the ribbing. But as you can see, I flattened the thread. Now I'm going to split it. Trying to split it just in the middle. With thin thread it doesn't go so easily, but it's okay. I'm just gonna insert some mole and then spread it across the length of the thread that I think I need for the ribbing. Okay, now I'm gonna counter spin the bobbin holder in clockwise manner and that will help me place the ribbing as I want it. I'm gonna remove the excess fur so for this you don't need much just a hint of some fur and just place it sparsely over the body and that's it. This is all I need for the body. Very sparsely, but it will suggest life. Now, how I want to prepare this. For this you need heckle pliers and you want to grab those tips. Grab the tips and because I'm going to wrap this this way, I'm going to fold those barbs that are going to hit the hook first. I'm going to fold them around the rachis. Now, Mr. Wayne Allen, if you type that into Google, has a very good video on how to fold this feather. And I'm just doing that with less skill, obviously, than he does. But the point is to place all those barbs from one side of the rachis. When you do that, you'll make your life much easier. Okay, I'm partly, partially uh, 
satisfied with this as you can see but because this is very simple fly uh, this is going to be more than good enough now this is going to be your tying part of the feather but you can just snip off okay now counter spin the bobbin holder to let the thread jump into your hand catch the materials okay I'm going to catch and notice one thing here I have a little bit of this tip you can consider this as a bare stem as well a bare rake sorry because it will help me lay this feather better so just pull this and place it now look at this the feather is going to lay exactly as you want it and as you wrap it try to wrap it tightly so rake is to touch the rake is of the previous wrap and then as you can see I'm not fighting with barbs at all they're just obeying me beautifully here and when you end up with bare, oops, with bare rake is here you can just tie off the fly. Now I'm going to repeat the process obviously and you can see how fast it can go. It's pretty pretty fast. Let me see. Yeah, I overlapped. Okay, I place it where I want it and then with my thread I'm just going to catch it here where the rake is is without any barbs sticking out it's going to make much cleaner cleaner tie off and look how I bend the rake is it's going to it's going to follow the hook shank and three so I have three wraps secured it going to cut it with scissors and then I'm gonna cover this up and because I have broken thread I'm just gonna go back a little bit like so okay flatten the thread we finish and I got myself a nice wet fly tighten the knot towards the bend, cut the knot, that's it, you have this nice sparse body, <laughs> those legs, you can of course do less legs, I, li I prefer my, my wet flies with a little bit more legs obvi obviously, but this is it, very easy fly to make, very effective fly to make, and Thank you very much for watching. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. See you next week and tight lines.